from an ordinary mining equipment repair shop in the remote areas of the city of Komatsu, a company emerged that is now one of the leading manufacturers of heavy machinery in the world, worth a whopping $17 billion. Today, this company stands as a living example of the power of worthy ideas and a passion to serve humanity. It all kicked off with an extraordinary humanitarian vision of founder Meitaro Takeuchi, who committed to enhancing the community's quality of life, developing future generations and growing with society's needs. Determined to bring to Japan the latest industrial technology from abroad to help build a competitive industrial nation, Takeuchi built a company by nurturing his community. Komatsu began its establishment in the city of Komatsu, Japan, by Meitaro Takeuchi as a repair shop for mining equipment. Initially, the company focused on repairing heavy machinery used in the local copper mines. However, soon it spotted a gap in the industry and a need for new and improved equipment to enhance efficiency and productivity in the mining sector. Takeuchi recognized that the copper deposits in the mine would soon run out. He was determined to provide a new source of employment for area residents. This motivated Komatsu to step into manufacturing its own machinery. So in 1917, he established Komatsu Iron Works, a machinery company for the maintenance of mining equipment. In May of 1921, he put together a group of investors and spun off the company to form Komatsu Limited. The new company began producing cast steel products, providing employment for many of those who had been dependent on the now depleted mine. The first product produced was a press in 1924 a one-cylinder sheet-forming machine. As Takeuchi and his team worked to grow operations, he remained true to his principles. Quality first, technology innovation, globalization, and development of people. Even though the typical wisdom and mind at the time guided that the company's head office should be in Tokyo, Takeuchi felt strongly that the company must remain tied to and benefit the rural area where it was founded. He believed that if young people from the country were educated and trained by the company, they would remain loyal, long-time employees. That vision gave birth to the mutual commitment between the company and the community and played a vital part in Komatsu's ability to beat challenges together and form lasting partnerships to meet the ever-evolving needs of society and the manufacturing industry. Then started the dawn of the era of top-level manufacturing, and in 1931, Komatsu introduced its first bulldozer, the Model 1. This production opened the door for the company into the construction machinery market. In the same year, as the Japanese government sought to mechanize the agricultural industry and transition away from animal-powered production, Komatsu was ready to supply the country with the first crawler farm tractor. In the coming decades, Komatsu continued to develop and expand its product line steadily, introducing innovative machinery such as hydraulic excavators, dump trucks, wheel loaders and more. These advancements solidified Komatsu's reputation as one of the pioneers in the field of construction and mining equipment. Leading up to World War II, when Japanese defense budgets and naval construction increased, Komatsu teams helped fulfill the demand for a wide variety of products required by the military. Once the war ended, the government again sought Komatsu's assistance to increase the production of agricultural tractors, plows and other equipment. The company's scaling on the global stage began in the 1950s when it established its first overseas subsidiary in the United States. This marked the beginning of their strategy to enter international markets and cater to the growing demand for its products worldwide. Over the years, they expanded their operations to various geographies, including Europe, Asia, Australia and Latin America, establishing a strong global presence. Their commitment to creating value through manufacturing and technology innovation skyrocketed globally as the company began exporting products and opening locations in other countries. Motor graders and hydraulic presses for Argentina in 1955 were the first Komatsu exports followed by exports to China and Indonesia. In 1958, they founded their first liaison office in India. From 1964 to 1986, the company established offices, manufacturing plants, and lasting partnerships with dealers in Europe, North and South America, Asia, and Africa. As the company expanded around the world, it leveraged the strengths of global production while nurturing local leadership and creating value for its customers. They invested in customer support for every community and supported society wherever it worked. 
With great work ethics and a bright vision, Komatsu teams pushed forward together through each challenge that came in their way of innovation, diversified into new markets and earned prestige on the global stage. Komatsu's ambition for research and development has been a driving force behind its success. The company consistently has invested in technological advancements to improve the performance, safety and environmental sustainability of its equipment. This focus on innovation has allowed them to introduce cutting-edge features and technologies, including autonomous haulage systems and hybrid construction machinery. In addition to their achievements in the construction and mining sectors, Komatsu have also played a significant role in supporting the Japanese military. During World War II, the company produced military equipment for the Imperial Japanese Army. However, after the war, they shifted their focus back to civilian products and began diversifying their offerings. When Takeuchi took over the Yusenji copper mine near Komatsu City, Japan in 1902, he funded projects to mechanize the mining processes and teach new skills to the people in the community. He established schools, sent his staff overseas to learn the latest techniques, and purchased machines to help improve mine efficiency. At the same time, he funded and supported a Department of Science and Engineering at Waseda University in Tokyo as well as a local industrial school to significantly advance educational opportunities and options in the rural areas near Komatsu City. Takeuchi's vision and strong guiding principles stood the test of time. Through the years, Komatsu's continued investment in core capabilities and strategic acquisitions have connected smart, diverse people and cutting-edge technologies with a shared belief that partnerships are the best way to solve challenges and meet society's needs. The philosophy of the founders is passed down from generation to generation through the company's principles, strategies, the Komatsu way, and the belief that corporate social responsibility is part of our core business and the value it creates. In different regions across the globe, Komatsu continues to provide products and solutions that address social needs and give back to the communities where it performs by leveraging the skills and passion of their people. The company seeks to play an active role in supporting the long-term success of society through sustainable efforts that reach far beyond Komatsu. The United States is adopting electric vehicles (EVs) to cut carbon emissions and foster sustainability. Legislation like the Bipartisan Infrastructure Law and California's Advanced Clean Cars too drive this shift. In construction, teams must build infrastructure for EVs. Komatsu's Andrew Earing notes challenges in this but emphasizes tailored solutions for diverse applications. Regulations on heavy equipment emissions will likely tighten over time. Komatsu invests in hybrid and electric machines to stay ahead and align with sustainability goals. At Bauma 2022, Komatsu exhibited an electric excavator and a fully electric wheel loader prototype. Seiichi Fujita highlights the company's commitment to reducing CO2 emissions and achieving carbon neutrality. The PC210E electric excavator targets diverse applications in the 20-ton size class. Pilot programs in North America aim to understand customer needs better. The electric wheel loader prototype developed with Moog undergoes tests for enhancements, including automation features. Electric machinery like the PC210E offers benefits such as improved air quality and reduced noise compared to combustion models. This enables operation in indoor and urban environments with minimal impact. Hybrid machines like Komatsu's HB365 LC3 excavator bridge the gap between combustion and electricity. Kurt Moncini highlights its fuel efficiency and reduced emissions. The HB365 LC3's electric swing motor captures energy during braking cycles stored in an ultra capacitor for quick power transfer and hydraulic response. Further electric excavator models may integrate similar technology to extend battery life and boost performance. Komatsu explores various technologies, including hydrogen fuel cells, to meet carbon goals tailored to different applications and sizes in construction. Komatsu is renowned for its robust and reliable engines, powering a wide range of construction, mining and industrial equipment. These engines are designed to deliver excellent performance, durability and fuel efficiency across various demanding applications. The SAA60-107E is a six-cylinder turbocharged after-cooled diesel engine commonly used in Komatsu excavators, bulldozers and wheel loaders. It offers excellent fuel efficiency and low emissions while delivering high power and torque, making it a versatile choice for numerous construction tasks. 
Another popular engine, the SAA 6D125E, is a six-cylinder turbocharged after-cooled diesel engine frequently found in large Komatsu excavators, bulldozers, and dump trucks. Known for its exceptional performance, durability, and fuel efficiency, this engine is a reliable workhorse for heavy-duty equipment. For larger mining and construction equipment, the SAA 6D140E is a go-to choice. This six-cylinder turbocharged after-cooled diesel engine is renowned for its power, reliability, and excellent fuel consumption, ensuring optimal performance in strenuous environments. The SAA 12V140E is a 12-cylinder turbocharged after-cooled diesel engine utilized in heavy-duty mining trucks and large construction machinery. It offers exceptional power and torque, making it suitable for the most demanding applications in the mining sector. Komatsu's SAA 6D170E is a six-cylinder turbocharged after-cooled diesel engine used in larger mining excavators and bulldozers. This engine delivers high performance, durability, and fuel efficiency, even in challenging working conditions, supporting the heavy demands of mining operations. Designed for ultra-class mining trucks, the SAA 12V170E is a 12-cylinder turbocharged after-cooled diesel engine that provides impressive power and torque. It enables efficient operation of large haul trucks in mining operations, ensuring reliable performance under extreme loads. Lastly, the SAA 16V140E is a 16-cylinder turbocharged after-cooled diesel engine utilized in Komatsu's largest mining trucks. This engine delivers substantial power and torque, ensuring optimal performance in heavy-duty hauling applications and supporting the most extensive and demanding mining operations. And here we end today's video. Let us know your favorite Komatsu machine in the comments below. And remember to subscribe for more interesting updates on the amazing and innovative world of giant machines. Thanks for watching.